Here's my card. It is a beautiful day, the kind of day that feels full of possibilities. The sun shines in the cornflower blue firmament. Birdsong fills the air as the scent of grass, flowers and optimism hangs heavy. You stand at your window and look out across the view of your well-tended garden and then the fields beyond, stretching away to the hills in the distance. Your time is your own, and you stand considering not only what you will do this gorgeous day, but what is next for you and your life. What direction will you take it in? Where will you steer your good ship to? There have been some stormy, stormy waters in the past, but you navigated them and jettisoned that unnecessary cargo which threatened to sink you. And here you are, with so many choices, so many options and opportunities available to you, unhindered by others, that may seek to impose their own values and decisions onto you. You are freedom personified, although you must admit there are times when you would welcome someone to share this unparalleled freedom with. But there is no rush to achieve this. It will happen when it happens. You believe in such things. As you continue to look out across the view, the telephone rings, and you break off from your thoughts to answer the telephone. Hello, you declare into the receiver. You hear a voice, clear, confident, warm, and strangely inviting, speaking to you. Hello. I am Mr. Saul Mate, calling from Somnium Incorporated, and I just wanted to let you know that I am able to deliver whatever you require, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Remember, it is all about you. Thank you for your continued custom. The call ends. You smile and replace the receiver. It rings again, and you answer. Hello, Mr. Soulmate, calling from Somnium Incorporated. Please remember, I am by your side, even when I am not there, and I am always ready to attend to anything you require. What you need, I provide. Thank you for your continued custom. The call ends again, and as you stand contemplating this call, there is the ping of a message on your mobile phone. You replace the landline receiver and walk over to where your mobile rests on the sideboard. You pick it up, and you see you have a text message from a number that you do not recognise. You open the message nevertheless, and it reads as follows. Somnium Incorporated, taking you to a new level in the provision of delight and joy. The landline rings again, and you mutter as you answer, yes. Hello, Mr Soulmate, calling from Somnium Incorporated. We have undertaken an extensive profiling exercise, which puts us in the optimum position to understand all your needs, and most importantly, satisfy them. Every single time. Thank you for your continued custom. Look, I haven't ordered anything from you. You protest, but the line goes dead. Another message answers, arrives on your phone. Somnium Incorporated. Just say it, and you will have it. Heaven awaits when you let us take care of you. There is a noise from your laptop, and you replace the receiver and walk to the computer to find that an email has arrived from soulmate at somniminc.com. Dear customer, we just wanted to let you know how much we adore looking after your every need. You are very special to us. In fact, you are the only one we want to serve. What is going on? You ask yourself aloud. Your phone pings again, and the sound of an email arriving rings out. You are about to look at these messages when your doorbell rings. What now? you mutter. You open your front door to find a courier stood there, holding a huge bouquet of flowers. Good morning, miss. Delivery for Miss Victoria Tim. He smiles. He hands you the bouquet and walks away. There is a card attached, and you read it. For you, dear customer, who will always serve and provide for no matter what. Somnium, Incorporated. You carry the flowers inside, which are admittedly beautiful, as you hear something being shoved through your letterbox. You place the flowers down and return to the door to see several flyers in different styles and colours have been pushed through your letterbox. All of them are from Somnium, Inc., 
and contain a variety of promises, declarations and plaudits concerning you and them. The doorbell rings and you pull the door open in irritation, still clutching the flyers. You can hear your landline ringing again and the repeated pinging of your mobile phone and the chime of your laptop. A different courier stands at the door this time with a parcel, which he hands to you. Victoria Tim? He asks, and you nod. Just sign here, please, he says with a smile and pushes the signing device towards you. You oblige, and he wishes you a lovely day as you retreat inside with the parcel which bears a tag. From Somnium Inc. to our best and most wonderful customer, we want to serve you forever. You shake your head and put the parcel down to answer the landline. Hello, Mr. Sawmaid here, just calling to remind you how special you are to us and how we will only ever have your best interests at heart. The doorbell rings again. Stop calling this number, you shout, and slam the phone down. You snatch up your mobile and see 25 messages have arrived all from the same number. You glance at a couple of the messages. We just wanted to let you know that we have never had a customer like you before. You are unique in every way, and we just want to give you everything you deserved. Somnium Inc. We have never felt this way about one of our customers before. It is like we have been sent from corporate heaven to make you happy forever. Somnium Inc. The landline rings again, but you ignore it. You can hear more chiming from your laptop, and you see that your inbox is filling up with emails from the same source. So made at somniuminc.com. You let out a cry as the doorbell rings once again, and flinging the door open, phone ringing in the background, you are confronted by a line of couriers who snake down your pathway and onto the road beyond. They are all carrying items such as flowers, parcels, baskets, balloons and such like. Delivery for Miss Victoria Tim, they all announce in unison, and provide you with a winning smile and a wink of the eye. Go away, you shout. I do not want them. I don't want anything to do with Somnium Inc. You slam the door and march back into the living room as the landline keeps on ringing. Your mobile keeps pinging incessantly. And the chiming coming from your laptop just will not stop. More flyers land on the doormat as you fling your mobile to one side. Placing your hands over your ears, trying to drown out this cacophony, but to no avail. You hear a loud knocking at your front door. As the chiming, ringing and pinging continues, you curse and wait. You consider going to the internet to find the details about this company, Somnium Inc. and Mr. Soul Mate, in readiness of making a complaint. This is harassment. No company should be acting in this fashion. And anyhow, where did they get, their detail, get your details from? How did they know your telephone numbers, email address and residential address? You never gave them out. The knocking at the door continues and you stop to the front door. I said, I, you begin as you wrench the door open, expecting to find the line of waiting couriers, but there is nobody there. Your eyes look down to the doormat on your porch floor, and there is a crisp white calling card with black embossed letters. You stoop and snatch it up. The din of ringing and alerts seeming to fade as your attention is drawn by this card. You read it. Sorry we missed you. We will call again. The name Saul Mate is in one corner, and Somnium and Ink is in another corner. You look across the lawn, but there is nobody there. You go to the front gate and look left and right along the avenue, but it is empty. If any company or organisation treated you in this manner, you would complain. This behaviour is our calling card. And you not only embrace it, but you want it. And you call us the Twisted Ones?